Summit like this, you know, collect a lot of different um, interests, a lot of different views. And I think it is very important that we are getting together, that we exchange views and thereby also better understand where we from industry coming, where policy settings coming, where end use is coming, and all that needs to be done in a good way in order to actually make progression for our future transport systems. We've heard a lot about the, the changing of the world of transport. How do you see that change? I think there is a lot of new things coming in now. We, we have new technology like the ICT uh, technology coming in, which enables now our products uh, together with the society to interact in a completely different way than was possible before and thereby open up opportunities of actually managing transport flow, managing the different areas which has been or is a problem in, um, in, in the world today. If we then look at, at uh, technology being implemented now, I think that what we're going to see is a lot of autonomous driving, we're going to see plateauing, we're going to see other technologies coming in and actually benefiting the whole society in terms of reducing congestion, reducing social cost, increasing safety enormously over the years to come. And that's of course something that is very, very important. If you could summarize the summit in three sort of key points that you take uh, from the last two days, what would they be? First, it would be the learning. Uh, to me, it's very interesting to come and see and hear and learn. The second is the platform are actually providing our views to the policy setting. We, we have our experiences and it is important that the um, policy and, and the policy makers can hear that. And thirdly, you expand your network in, in immensely. Uh, actually now building in for the future and up until the next forum, starting to work on different areas and get new ideas. So it has been very helpful.